at the Toronto Arts Council, we award some $23 million in grants a year to a broad spectrum of arts organizations and individual artists. We want to celebrate individuals for works that they have done that has made such an incredible impact on Toronto. I'm Sarah Hunter. I'm the president of the K.M. Hunter Charitable Foundation. We offer grants in social services, the environment and cultural sectors, and we give grants to different organizations and sometimes to individuals in those areas. And we wanted to honor my father and his legacy, so we decided to do an Indigenous Artist Award because we had been supporting a lot of Indigenous artists already. The Toronto Arts Council has been very instrumental in helping us launch and develop this award, and I'm very, very thankful to them. Well, we are thrilled that with the support of the Hunter Foundation, that we can award a $20,000 cash prize to a professional Indigenous artist or a collective. There's also um, a secondary prize, which is $5,000 to either a professional artist mentor or an elder or a mentee protege who will be designated by the award recipient. And I think that's such a wonderful aspect of this particular award that it is the individual themselves and then they're able to suggest someone else who's been either really important to their own lives and their development such as a mentor or an elder or that they're looking out for that next generation of somebody that they really want to encourage themselves. I think Truth and Reconciliation has really helped us understand the kind of trauma Indigenous artists experienced and now they're, they're able to express some of that history through their art and I think that's really important for us to hear those stories. So an award like this really reminds people of the true value of artists in our society. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the future with these awards and the kind of impact they'll have. And this is a new chapter for us, so I'm excited to see what the future brings.